Good morning children. Today we will be studying active and passive voice. Now before we move into the definition of active and passive voice, let's look at few sentences. Tom painted the entire house. The entire house was painted by Tom. Now, if you look at these two sentences, you will find that both these sentences, they have the same meaning. The sentences, both these sentences, they mean the same. But the only difference is that there is a change in the structure of these two sentences. Tom painted the entire house is, the active, is in the active voice. And the entire house painted by Tom is in the passive voice. In these two sentences, you will see Tom here. Is a subject. Here Tom is a subject. When we change it into the passive, Tom became the object. And here the sub object is the entire house. When we change it into the passive, it became the subject. So here you can see painted. The word painted is the verb here. The action which is done is painted. So painted is the verb here. And Tom is the one who does this action. So Tom is the performer of the action. And the entire house is the receiver of this action. Tom is the one who does this action. Tom is the performer of the action. The entire house is the receiver of the action. So when the performer of the action is the subject and the receiver of the action is the object, then we have the active then we say that the sentence is in the active voice. This active voice, in the active voice, the person who does the action, the performer of the action is a subject and the receiver of the action is the object. But when we change it into the passive voice, here this was the receiver of the action. The entire house was the receiver of the action and this was the object. When we change it into the passive voice, it became the subject. The object here became the subject here. And Tom was the performer of the action. He was the subject in the active voice. When we changed it into the passive voice, Tom became the object. So this is the difference between active and passive voice. In the active voice, we have the performer of the action as the subject and the receiver of the action as the object. But when we change it into the passive, when it comes to the passive voice, we have the receiver of the action as the subject and the performer of the action becomes the object. If you see here in the sentence, Rita writes a letter. Writes is the verb here. The verb, the action that is done, verb is the writes. So the one who does this action, the performer of the action is Rita and she is a subject here. And the receiver of this action, the one who receives the action is the letter. So the letter is the object and it is in the active voice. Now when we change it into the passive, it becomes a letter is written by Rita. So the object here became the subject here. The subject is the receiver of the action and Rita becomes the performer of the action here changes to the object. Now there are few rules which you need to keep in mind while converting a sentence from active to the passive. There are about six rules, six points which you need to keep in mind while converting active to passive. The first rule is find SVO. SVO means subject, verb and object. So when you have a sentence which needs to be converted to the passive voice, the first step you need to do is to identify the subject, the verb and the object. So the first step is to find or to identify the subject, verb and the object. Convert object into subject. So the next step is to convert the object into the subject. We saw here in the sentence you, you can see Tom painted the entire house. The object here is the receiver of the action. So this object changes to the subject. When we change active to passive, the object in the active, 
becomes a subject in the passive. So, we convert the object into subject. The object here becomes a subject here. The object in the active voice becomes a subject in the passive voice. So, this is the second rule. You can see here another example. The teacher praised him. Here you can see the teacher is a subject here. Him is a object here. Now, him, as you all know, is a pronoun. Pronouns are words which we use instead of nouns. So, this object, when we convert this sentence, when we convert it into the passive voice, the object becomes the subject. So, him becomes he and becomes a subject. So, this is the second rule. Convert object into subject. Now, the third rule is Use a suitable helping verb. Now, what is a helping verb? Helping verbs are those verbs which we add along with the main verb to make a complete sentence. You can see here, the main verb here is painted. Painted is the main verb. And when we changed it into the passive voice, when we changed the sentence into the passive voice, we added the verb was. Was is a helping verb. So, helping verbs are those verbs which we add along with the main verb. Painted was the main verb and along with the main verb we added the helping word was. So, when we add the helping word was along with the main verb, it helps to extend the meaning of that verb. The meaning of the main verb in the sentence is extended by adding the helping verb. So, we add a suitable helping verb along with the main verb. We have to identify the main verb and then a suitable helping verb has to be added along with the main verb. So there are many helping verbs in English. You can see here some of the helping verbs are is, are, was, were, have, has. Then there are many other helping verbs like be, been, then we have will, would, shall, should, can, could. These are all helping verbs. So, you have to look at the main verb and accordingly add the suitable helping verb. So, this is the third step. Now, the fourth step. Convert the main verb into the third form. Third form means the past participle form. Now, you know that a verb, there are three forms in a verb. We have the base form. Then we have the past form and then we have the past participle form. So, the third form of the verb is the past participle form. So, when, when we convert a sentence from active to passive, the verb, the main verb has to be converted to the third form or the past participle form. If you see here in this sentence, <coughs> Rita writes a letter. Writes is the main verb here. This is a base form. Writes is a base form. The past form of write is wrote. And the past participle form of write is written. So, when we changed it into the passive, we changed writes to written. Writes is a base form. We changed it into the past participle form. We have write, wrote, written. So, written is a past participle form. Now, there are other words like grow, grew, grown. So, these are the the forms of the verb, the base form, the past form and the past participle form. So, the verb should always be changed to the third form or the past participle form. So, this is the fourth step. Use the preposition by. So, whenever we change a sentence from active to passive, always use the preposition by. When you look at these sentences, you can see. Tom painted the entire house. The entire house is painted by Tom. We have used the preposition by because in this, when we change it into the passive voice, when we change the sentence from active to passive, the receiver of the action become, comes first, then comes the action and the performer of the action comes towards the end. So, we need to show that this particular action which comes in between is performed or is done by this person or is done by this thing. So, in order to show that this action or this verb is done by the performer, by this uh, 
person or this uh, thing, we use the preposition by. So, always use the preposition by. Then, last and the final step is to change the subject into object. So, we saw that we convert the object, the object in the active voice to the subject here. Similarly, the subject in the active voice becomes the object here. So, in other words, we interchange the positions of subject and the object in active and passive voice. Now, you can see here a table. These are the pronouns which we use commonly. The pronouns which are used uh, in active voice. Now, pronouns, as I said before, they are words which we use instead of nouns. So, in the active voice, when we have these pronouns as the subject, and when we change it into the passive voice, they take a different form. <clears throat> I becomes me, we becomes us, you remains the same. You remains the same, he becomes him, she becomes her, it remains the same and they becomes them. If you see here, for example, they grow plants. Here, they is the subject. Grow is a verb and plants is the object. <clears throat> so when this subject, when they, when it became the object, it became them. So they, the pronoun they changed to them and the object here became the subject here. <coughs> the object here became the subject here. Grow, the verb grow is the base form. Grow is the base form. So, we take the past participle form. We have grow, grew, grow. So, grown is the past participle form. And along with this main verb, we add a helping verb. R is the helping verb which we add. So, this is how we convert active to passive. Another sentence. You can do it. So, you here is the subject. Do is the main verb. The main verb is do. And it is the object. <coughs> so when we turn, when we convert the sentence into the passive voice, you can see the object here became the subject. It was the object here. This became the subject here. Then you was the subject here became the object. And then do was the main verb. Do is the verb in the base form. So in the past participle form, it becomes done. We have do as a base form. In the past form, we have did. And in the past participle form, we have done. So, do becomes done. Do becomes done. And along with done, we add a helping verb. Be is a helping verb. And then we add by. By is a preposition which we add. So, this is how... We convert active voice, a sentence from active to passive. In active voice, we have the performer of the action as a subject. While in the passive form, we have the receiver of the action as the subject. And the third form of the main verb is to be used while converting it into the passive. The third form or the past participle form is to be used. So, these are the main points which you need to keep in mind while converting sentence from active to the passive form. So, these are the rules. So, I hope you all have understood. Now, if you have any doubt after watching this video, if you have any doubts, you can note your doubts on a piece of paper and when we have our next online class, in our next class, you can ask me your doubts and I'll be clearing all your queries. So, we'll wind up the class for today. Thank you girls.